Hi, my name is Lauren Hanshaw, and this is my video presentation on the evolution of whales and porpoises. Both whales and porpoises are part of the order Cetacea, which is one of the two orders of aquatic mammals which lives its life entirely underwater, the other being Sirenia. This fully aquatic lifestyle is what separates those two orders from the third order of aquatic mammal, Pinnipedia. The most distinctive physical characteristic of cetaceans is the streamlined shape of their bodies. This shape is due to evolution, which over time shrunk the hind limbs of cetaceans until they retracted fully into their bodies, and what was left was a horizontal fin at the end of the tail. Their front limbs then morphed into paddle-like structures appropriate for effective propulsion through the water. In addition, all nipples and sex organs became partially withdrawn, if not fully, into pockets of skin, and neck vertebrae became compressed. Adaptions to Aquatic Life because all cetaceans give birth in the water, their offspring must more be more fully developed than those of pinnipeds, with advances such as sight and ability to swim at birth. Some other adaptations cetaceans have adopted include a thicker tissue in the middle ear than that of land mammals, the ability to withstand high levels of CO2 and lactic acid, and a system in which nerves and muscles cut off temporarily if the animal is suddenly distressed to prevent the animal from attempting to breathe while underwater. Evidence for terrestrial ancestry. Unlike fish, cetaceans swim in a vertical manner, similar to the way mammals run on land. This is one of the factors contributing to the widespread belief that cetaceans evolved from a common terrestrial mammalian ancestor. Some even more convincing evidence is that of vestigial structures present in bodies of modern-day whales and porpoises, including two slender hip bones floating purposelessly in the muscles near cetacean sex organs, and a small amount of bristly hairs present on their bodies from birth, which in most cases serve no purpose but hint at ancestors with fur coats. The earliest known cetacean ancestors are called archaeocytes, which date from the Eocene, 52 to 42 million years ago, and have been found across the world from North America to India. Archaeocytes are broken up into four separate groups. The first is Pachycetidae, which included the animal Pachycetus, a small, dog-like animal with a dense and inflated auditory bulla adapted for better underwater hearing. The second was Protocetidae. The third was Ambulocetidae, which included Ambulocetus, an amphibious animal with fins. The last was Remingtonocetidae, whose middle ears were enlarged to adapt to high pressure underwater. Later on in the Eocene, Dorodontidae emerged. These animals were more diverse and had fused elbows, a trait that modern whales have which severely limits the use of front limbs. By the end of the Eocene, Dorodontidae split up into two families, Mysticeti, the baleen whales of today, and Odontoceti, the toothed whales, dolphins, and porpoises of today. Here are two examples of modern-day whales, the blue whale of the family Mysticeti and the orca of the family Odontoceti. Based on mitochondrial DNA from the undulates, hoofed mammals, the cousins of cetaceans, a split of Mysticeti and Odontoceti was proposed at 10 to 13 million years ago. However, the evolutionary rate of whale mitochondrial DNA is much slower than that of undulates putting a more accurate proposal at 25 million years ago. That concludes my presentation. Thank you for watching.